just lived like I was a rock star, so fuck it. You know? <laughs> so it was fun. It, I had a really good time. I, I but I realized like there weren't too many people that were actually music journalists. Like nobody really wanted to know the truth. They just wanted you to adore adore the band and and romanticize the band, which I, I can romanticize anybody. But I think you need some facts and some some. Like when I worked at Spin, I thought, you know what, there's not really too many music journalists. Because if there were, they would have found out that Michael Jackson was diddling the boys instead of... You, do you know, that's that's what a, a music journalist... But And when you work for a big... Like, I was an editor at Spin, and then we had Madonna on the cover, and, and Bon Jovi. I mean, you know, you, you they send you out to write about... You, you don't get to write about great stuff. Yeah. You know, which is why I always tried to write, I always picked the non-music stories, which were much more fun. Because there's always a time when you got to describe the music, you know, the water, the, the, the Niagara Falls sound of the Ramones, or the machine gun, you know, the, the you know those paragraphs. Oh, God, here we go again, you know. So... I, I don't. I don't really know the answer to your question, but I. You know what? I. I would read. I mean, Lester Bangs was a great writer, but he couldn't write anything but rock criticism, and that's pretty depressing to me. You know, like fuck that. You know, you should be able to write about anything. Yeah. You know. You know, I would. I would read more and. You know. Do more things and. I don't know. I feel like bands are just like a little like, I mean, there there are accessible bands, but when you're doing journalism, it's like here you get like 20 minutes in this room with one of the members, there's your interview, boom, you're done. Well, you should do what I did, just go out with them, so what, date them, yeah. <laughs> get better stories. I haven't, you know, like I haven't been trying. <laughs> I wish you all the luck in the world. Thank you. <laughs> Are there any like scenes or sounds or areas that you're really interested in right now? Paul Revere and the Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. No, it's cool. Like, there's no cities that seem to be like actually doing anything different than anywhere else. They're actually kind of curious about how they sound or what they're doing or what they're about. It's okay to say no. No. Right. <laughs> Everyone sucks. No, I like no. to travel more than he does, so I'm open. I don't fly, so that kind of limits me. Is there anything that you're, like, you found, different city, country, area, that's just kind of doing something different? Well, no, but I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you suggest? I want a suggestion. Oh. That's why I asked. Um, you know what? No matter how, and, and things are, you know, 90% of most things are really shitty, you know? <laughs> no, seriously. You know, 90% of most television is shitty. You know, that nine, is not true. Nine, well, uh, it's, it's gotten better. You know, now we have Netflix and all this other great stuff. But, you know, 90% of the movies suck. Jonathan, shut up. Uh, um, you know, 90% of stuff suck, but there's always something you... There's always a book you want to read. There's always a movie you want to go see. And there's always, you know, some good record. So I think you... you you gotta like, you gotta just work harder, you know. Dig. Yeah. Filter. But you can always. I think you can always find yeah. something that's that's pretty cool, you know. I'm hopeful. <laughs> Any other questions? Can we go? Oh, in the back. Can you talk a little bit about your fact checking process and like, what do you do if you find out that someone is just bald faced lying to you? That's interesting. Oh, just. It just put the contradiction in on the next passage. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 that's exactly, exactly what, what you, do. you do. But there was things, um, we had dilemmas, like just factual things, like Duncan Hannah oh, remembered. Uh, misremembering things. Misremembering dates, yeah, yeah. and we decided, no, we're going to put in as he remembers it. Yeah. But, Jenny? Jenny? Yes. I'm actually interested with... Um, Mary Rose, I know her father was out of the picture, he was a Debbie dad, and she was deceased by the time you got to her journals. Right. So what was your relationship with her mother, and was she, I mean, did she really want this, was she eager for it to be published, or did you have to coax her into it? 
What's your, I, I just, I'm really interested in the mom. She let us go with it and she left us alone. Yeah. She um, was very, we were also very, very respectful of her and, you know. And she obviously anticipated the death. Yeah. I'm assuming. Um, well, so you must have been kind of a nice. I don't, I don't we, we really like the mo her mom. Her mom is, is really a lovely woman. She made some bad choices early on in her life, mm -hmm. and, and you know, which really affected Mary Rose. But she's, she's really a delight. In fact, we just took her, we, we took a billboard out in Times Square that said, which is a. That a, was the best billboard. Yeah, which is, was a, so good. a quote from. Um, in fact, it, it's going to be in the New York. We took an ad out in the New York Times. Uh, book review which yeah. comes out tomorrow and they just yelled at Jonathan Jonathan put it in and they were Can you we, tell the story? Yeah, come on, come on yeah. Jonathan, come on Jonathan, get up here so, okay. so the billboard says I wish I had a dick because then I could tell the world to suck it <laughs> which is what Mary Rose wrote right. but they wouldn't let us use the quotes so we had to have four spaces I wish yeah. I had a blank blank, 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 blank so I, I could, could tell the, the world, world to suck it, it. so we figured, okay, we'll put, we'll send that ad to the New York Times, and they'll reject it. We began to talk about what the alternatives, second alternative, third alternative, fourth alternative was, but they took the ad. So it's coming out tomorrow. But, but it's gone to print. But on Wednesday or Thursday, the guy at the Times calls and says, "We have standards. We can't believe we wouldn't run this ad. You should know the New York Times is there. We just didn't read it before it went into print." <laughs> 45 minutes on the phone, my sister, we're passing the phone. Finally, we just put him on the speaker, just went back to her, on and on and on. What, what do you mean you don't read the ads? You print it like you're yelling at me? So anyway, everybody look at the New York Times book review on Sunday. Write to the, actually, if you want to help this book, write to the New York Times. Letters to the editor can be online and say you are shocked. Shut up! Shut Would put that kind of filth on the page. <laughs> so they're still gonna run it?